All right, here we go. Kim on 10B sample final number two. We have to balance this redox reaction. I'm going to show you both the arrow method and the half reaction method. If you like the arrow method, watch the first and then skip the half reaction. If you like the half reaction, skip over the arrow and just watch this. If you need more practice, you're going to do quiz 10 and quiz 11 or chapter 12, exercises 12A through 12I. All right, so first step, oxidation numbers. Charge on an ion, oxygen's a minus two, so total of minus eight. So that means six, because six minus eight is equal to negative two. Poly, uh, monatomic ion, oxygen is a minus two in a compound. Hydrogen is a plus one in a compound. So the chlorine has to be a plus one to even it out because two minus two is equal to zero. Monoatomic ion, oxidation number is the charge on the ion. Oxygen is minus two, plus one. Drawing arrows between things that are changing their oxidation number. The chromiums are changing and the chlorines are changing. Temporary balance. There's one chlorine and one chromium on each side. So, electrons lost, gain, and then balance. One times minus one is equal to a total of minus one. One times plus one is a total of plus one. How do you get from minus one to plus one? You lose two electrons because you got more positive. One times plus six is a total of plus six. One times plus three is a total of plus three. How do you get from plus six to plus three? You gain three electrons because you're getting three more negative adding electrons. Okay, you have to find the least common multiple, which is 6. So we're going to multiply here by 2 and multiply here by 3, so we end up with losing 6 and gaining 6, which evens out. So this 2 jumps here and it becomes 2 times 1. This 3 jumps here becomes 3 times 1. All of that work is to get this 3 and that 3 times 1 and that 2 times 1 so we rewrite 3 Cl minus 1 plus 2 CrO4 minus 2's plus I don't know how many H pluses goes to I don't know how many HClos plus I don't know how many Cr plus 3's plus I don't know how many H2O's Balance by inspection. If we have three chlorines, we need three chlorines. If we have two chromiums, we need two chromiums. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're doing the ABC. The A says we're going to add H plus to balance the charge. So let's do the charge first. This is three times minus one plus two times minus two plus I'm not sure, times plus one. And that all has to equal three times zero. There's no charge on HClO. And two times plus three. Plus, I don't know, times zero. Okay, so that adds up to a total of plus six on the right and that's not going to change. Plus six on the left. Zero charge on water. Okay, so the answer is if this is minus three and this is minus four, that means minus seven plus something has to equal plus six. Well, doesn't that have to be plus 13? Because 13 minus seven is equal to plus six. So 13 is the coefficient on the H plus. Okay, then we do oxygen. 
there's a total of eight oxygens on the left, which means we need eight oxygens on the right. There's three oxygens here, plus zero oxygens, plus, well, you need five oxygens. That five comes up here, and it's five. And if we've done all, everything right, a hydrogen check is what's left. We've got 13 hydrogens here. We've got 10 plus 3 is 13 hydrogens. Done. That's the balanced equation. Now let's do the half reaction. Split them up into their two halves. Cl minus 1 goes to HClO and then CrO4 minus 2 goes to Cr plus 3. All right. One to one between the chlorines and the chlorines. Then what? Then we add waters to balance the oxygens for H2O. Then one H2O. Then what do we do? We balance um, H's. There's two H's on this side, so we're adding one H plus on this side. There's eight H's on the right, so we add eight H pluses on this side. All right, and now we have to add electrons to balance the charge. So we've got a total of minus one on this side, and a total of plus one on that side. So you have to add two electrons on this side to get the charges to be balanced. And over here, what do we got? Plus three over here. And then a total of minus two and plus eight or plus six on this side. So how do you get the electrons to balance? I'm sorry, not the electrons, the charge to balance. Well, we have to add three electrons over here because three minuses ends up being plus three plus three. Two minuses over here, minus one, minus one. Okay, so those are the balanced half reactions. Got three electrons on the left hand, two electrons on the right hand. So let's first write out the whole formulas here. One water plus one Cl minus one goes to one HClO plus one H plus one plus two electrons. And then over here, we've got eight H pluses plus one CrO4 minus two, plus three electrons, goes to one Cr plus three plus four waters. We have to multiply here by three, and multiply here by two, so that we can get the electrons to balance out, to cancel each other out. So let's multiply. Three H2Os, plus three Cl minus ones goes to three HClO plus three H plus one plus six electrons. That's that side. Now let's multiply these out and bring them down here. Eight times two is sixteen H plus one plus 2Cr04 minus 2 plus 6 electrons goes to 2Cr plus 3 plus 8H2O. All right, so now we add those two together. But before we do, let's cancel out what we know is the same on both sides. The electrons. If 
we have three waters on this side and eight waters on this side, this ends up being five waters, right? And if we've got three H pluses on this side and 16 on this side, this cancels out and this ends up being 13, right? So now what do we got? We've got 13 H plus one plus 2CrO4 minus 2 plus 3Cl minus 1. So goes to 3HClO plus 2Cr plus 3 plus 5H2O. Same thing. Got to be same thing. We're done. Okay, either way, they both work. Whichever one works best for you. And again, if you need practice, there they are. Quizzes 10 and 11, chapter 12, exercises 12A through 12I. Good luck.